Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. This is like a, just an added little bit because I put the review out last night of Fake Genius. And I put it out quite late. It wasn't that late, but late for me. I was tired. And I got to bed and I just was falling asleep. My eyes opened and I went, oh, I forgot to mention that. And it was only, it's only a little thing. Well, it's not. It's a little thing time-wise, but it's a big thing, part of the book. And I thought, it's okay, it's fine. I don't need to mention it. I'll mention it on the live thing or something. And I was like, no, because it's important. And then I just saw the comment from Steve Cook, who wrote the book, on the YouTube, uh, the comments underneath saying, and, and he wasn't correcting me, he said, I agree with you and I think it's worth the price because of, you know, not just the tricks, which, uh, you know, many of them have been marketed for, for a lot of money. So you get all that and you can make them up for, for, for a lot less, uh, which is very, very true. You do get that. Um, uh, but he also mentioned the fact that he thinks it's justified worth the money because of the hints and tips through it. Uh, throughout the book and that's the bit that I forgot to mention I forgot to mention the hints and tips and it's important because they're kind of throughout through, you know you get a few tricks then you get a couple of pages and hints and tips and you get a few tricks and they might seem for some people if you've not been a professional some of these hints might seem a little bit detaily but they're really important there's some really good stuff in here and I think it's a such an important part of the, part of the book that I really wanted to just do a tiny little video just mentioning I'm not going to go through all of them but there's some really good stuff in there there's really super practical stuff that I would have even thought of. Things like using a pencil on a zip before you do gigs if you've got a wallet that unzips just so because it lubricates it, which I didn't know. Um, there's, there's all, when you do mentalism, telling people to mix the cards as opposed to shuffling them. And for people like me that has, haven't been doing mentalism for that long, or haven't done much mentalism for that long, and so that's quite an important point. Um, there's a really nice, I'm not, I'm going to completely murder the quote now, but he says something along the lines, talking about timing, and he says something along the lines of, um, if you've got a perfect slight but your timing is out, you won't get away with it, you'll get caught. But if you've got a slightly imperfect slight, or your slight is poor, but your timing's really good, you'll get away with it every time. And I thought that was a really, it's just a nugget, isn't it? Because, and that's what, you know, I always say about the classic pass. You know, people watch it on people's passes and, and top changes and stuff on YouTube and Instagram and they sort of call them out on it. But you've got to understand that in, in that live performance setup, in that scenario, it's all about the timing. It's not about the, the perfect um, slide. And obviously we try and get as perfect as we can and that's what we like to do. But I just thought it was, you know, there's loads of stuff about pocket placement, about how you put a sharp in your pocket, type to sharp in your, to use storage of props which I think, again, if you're just getting into it, and even if you're not, is really useful stuff and a big part of the book. So I just wanted to mention that just so I can sleep at night, I can get closure. I've mentioned it now, and I'm going to be putting some videos on of some of the performances. I have used the marketed versions of the tricks just because I've managed to get hold of them. Um, but like I said, nearly all of them, or versions of them, are in here. So I just wanted to do that. Have a great one. Take care, and thanks for your comments, Steve. Uh, it's a great book. Cheers.